Another set of eyes tracking the slew of storms headed our way. So-called hurricane hunters are not hesitating to head straight into the roughest weather in hefty C-130s flying in and out of Mather Airport. Well, the massive specialized planes help them gather data about the storm system for weather forecasters on the ground. I talked with one of them tonight describing what he's already seen headed our way. While you hunker down and do everything you can to dodge the storms, a team of hurricane hunters heads right into them. We basically drop weather instruments into these storms um, from a high altitude, which is trying to capture as much of the atmosphere as we possibly can. I caught up with Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Rickard over the phone between missions out of Mather Airport. He's a flight meteorologist with the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, better known as the Hurricane Hunters, now gathering data on atmospheric rivers over the Pacific before the wild weather systems make it to us. And then yesterday, a, a prime example, we were our one airplane that was flying, there's actually a temperature where our, our fuel starts to begin to freeze. Rickert has already seen the nasty weather headed our way and used instruments to measure it. How helpful will it be for the current storms that we're having? What our research has shown is that these data that we collect with the aircraft in the atmospheric rivers and around them offshore uh, helps produce a better forecasts of where the AR is going to hit. Climate scientist Marty Ralph with the Scripps Institute of Oceanography tells me not only will it help track the system, they'll see how strong it'll be and how long it will last. Well, it's one of the big challenges in the West is knowing which watersheds exactly are going to get hit very hard. Like the Kasumnas River uh, recently got, just a week or so ago, got hit very hard. Right. We've been dealing with the drought, so right. to be dealing with this has been you know, shocking to everybody. Have you noticed a difference in the missions that you've been flying just since you started? Well, I will say the one today actually was very, it, it was kind of precarious for the crew. Yeah, they are brave out there. Their missions can run up to 11 hours long as they drop small cylindrical instruments parachuting into the storms, gathering data. They're gearing up to head back out tomorrow and bracing for a round of missions all next week.